Hi, I'm Andrew, and today I would like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of sodium oxide. I have a nice little table to help us out. Take a look. Bam! So the first thing we do is write down the elements in the compound. So we've got sodium and we've got oxygen. Next is then to identify the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now if there's no subscript at the bottom of the element, just put in a 1. So we've got 2 sodium, 1 oxygen. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each particular element. Those mass are found on the periodic table, so you got to take a look. 22.99 for sodium, 16 for oxygen, and that's what we're going to write down. So 22.99 for sodium, oxygen is going to be 16, and then we're simply going to multiply that row on across to find the total mass of the element, and 45.98, that's what happens when your brain moves faster than your mouth. That's what you sound like, blah, 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 blah. So then when you're going to add this column on up, that's going to help you find the total mass of the entire compound. So 61.98. And the units are in AMU, atomic mass unit. That's because we're solving for molecular mass. So thanks so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If we helped you out at all here, take a look at our channel. We'd love to help you with more. We've got thousands and thousands of videos out there, not only in chemistry, but physics and mathematics. So if you're taking any other class, we'd love to help you there too. We'll see you soon.